Hey guys, what is up? It's me here, Jay Pineapple, back again for another video. And hold up one sec, guys. Just gonna make this a little larger. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, um, today we got uh, this a part of our haul. Basically, we only got two figs. So, we basically, just got this one and we got you know, Scarlet Witch. Uh, I'm not sure which one's gonna be uploaded first, but um, today we are gonna be unboxing Rogue from the Juggernaut Builder Figure Lab. So, yes, guys, I'm super hyped for this figure. Um, the minute I found it, I was like, yeah, I need to get it, guys. So, uh, yeah, I was super lucky to get this too, because I didn't have much money. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, this is, uh, the part of the X-Men way, so let's just have a look at the front of the box. Uh, basically, it's basically your standard Legend Series packaging. It's with everyone, basically, you know, so, like, this guy, he doesn't even have the leg with him, what? Alright, whatever. Uh, you know, it's, it's basically with everyone, you know. Just got wish. Uh, yeah, okay, so basically it's just a window box packaging that has like Legend Series up the top. Uh, it has the build figure Juggernaut wave up there. It has an X logo there. Uh, it says X Men, Marvel's Rogue, and it has the Hasbro logo there. And that's, na that's how you know it's legit. Because uh, sometimes some companies, like especially with Beyblade and stuff, um, I know you guys aren't really into Beyblade, but um, they usually uh, would copy their, the packaging and they would put different logos on there and stuff. Uh, but if it says the company's name that actually manufactures them, uh, that in this case it's Hasbro, uh, then you know it is legit. Um, looking on the side, uh, it does have a nice picture of Rogue looking pretty good. And on the back of the packaging, it has a pretty cool picture of Rogue in a cool pose. And there's a bio guy. If you guys do want to read the bio, you guys can pause now. And you guys can have a look at all the other figures in this wave. And, my gosh, I was thinking of buying a case of these, guys. So, there's Wolverine, which is probably the best Wolverine figure I've seen from reviews. Uh, Kitty Pride, which looks like actually a pretty decent figure. Uh, a really good Iceman figure. A Poop of a Havoc. Um, the awesome Rogue. A mediocre Phoenix. A pretty cool Cable. And an amazing Deadpool. Deadpool. And Deadpool's obviously the one you guys want to get, you know. Uh, but I, of course, could not find him because my luck is horrible. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, let's just get to it and crack this thing open and see how awesome the figure really is, guys. Let's uh, do it. Alright, and the figure is out, and come on, look, look respectable, Rogue, come on. Alright, here we go, here's Rogue, guys. Pretty cool figure, i got to say, first off. Uh, Moonstone body mold, great, 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 great. Alright, guys, uh, yeah, we'll just, like, get this figure around, play around with her, you know. See how awesome the figure really is. Uh, just by articulating it now, I can tell that it's going to be an amazing figure. Uh, yeah, we'll get back to it um, when we've had a little bit more of a play around with it. So, yeah, let's do it. Here is Rogue out of the packaging. Let me just... I am very sorry about if you guys heard anything there, but uh, we're just going to push it forward to make it look cool. So, yes, guys, here is Rogue out of the packaging. She is really, really badass, guys. And she's about to fall off because there's a freaking a little slope drop thing here. But, you know, she is a pretty amazing figure, guys. Uh, very nice sculpt, guys, I do have to say, first off. Um, but yes, before we get into the figure itself, we will get into the accessories. So, let's do that now, yes. Here is the figure's accessories, guys. And I do have to say, you know, it's not much, but hey, it's alright. Uh, it comes with a flesh hand for Rogue, because of course, you know, she absorbs powers if she touches someone. That's alright, uh, pretty cool hand. Uh, one complaint I do have to say, though, is when you do take the hand off, or at least on my rogue figure, it's kind of loose, so I can just... I'm not really shoving it in with much force, and it's already in. You see? Look! And then, you know, you can just pose it around and stuff, but, yeah. And then you try and push it down or something, and it might just come out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent flesh hand, you know. Pretty nice. And then, of course, the dragon leg. Like. Alright, guys, let's get to it and review the figure now. Here's the rogue head sculpt, guys. And you know what? I honestly do not think this looks that bad. Um, you know, I guess if you zoom up to it up close, you really can notice that the eyes are a little too far apart. 
but when you look f far away from it, it really doesn't really look that bad. The eyes are painted pretty reasonably good, you know. I really like the way the eyelashes are painted on there. That looks pretty nice. Uh, I really like the lipstick and all that. I really like the eyebrows too. I like how there's like, you know, this grey bit here. Not sure if I'm not sure why that's there though. Uh, that's probably that's probably comic accurate though. So yeah, I uh, like the metallic green that's on this bandana and in general around the figure. You know, like it looks really nice and I genuinely love this hair, hair sculpt. You know, uh, I just wish that Hasbro would find a way to sort of uh, find a uh, little softer plastic. You know, uh, I do like this little. I like how they put the axes on the sides and I like how they sculpt the jacket. You know, this jacket looks pretty nice. Um, having a look here down the chest area, I like the way the breasts are sculpted, you know, uh, I think, uh, not being a pervert or anything, I just think they genuinely look nice, you know, and they look, like, proportional and everything, it's good. Um, you know, of course this is the Moonstone body model, so we've all seen that before, uh, it has the X logo there as well, uh, I really, I do, I do like this body model a lot. Um, looking down here, you know, it's got a pretty nice X symbol there with some nice red paint, uh, with some black in there as well, other than that, you know, it's just, you know, brown. Uh, going on the back, you know, you can see the butt, you know, that looks good too. Nice green metallic paint with the yellow. Really nice way, I really like the way this figure looks. You know, looking down, really nice. Nice feet. And, you know, uh, it's got nice, nice got the tread. What the frick is my camera doing? My camera is spazzing out, I don't know why. Hold on a minute, guys, I'm just going to go turn on the lights for the articulation segment. Uh, in terms of articulation, uh, the figure's head doesn't really move up that much. Uh, as I said before, I do want to see if Hasbro can look at some little softer plastics, you know. Uh, does, that's as far as it's going to move up, you know. You're not really going to get much more than that. Uh, it moves down a bit as well, actually. It does move down, you see. Not bad. Okay, having a look here. Uh, the arms are attached with uh, your standard ball hinge joints at the shoulders, so, you know, they swivel all the way around. Uh, they go outwards that much, and they ha go that much inwards. Uh, they have a no bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. Uh, they do have that elbow swivel there, though. Uh, these gloves are a separate piece. Uh, there's a swivel at the wrist. There's also a hinge there, so good up and down movement at the wrists. Uh, it does have a nice diaphragm joint here that swivels. Uh, crunches forward a little bit, uh, does crunch back more, uh, and it pivots side to side, you know, so good pivoting and everything. I really like this body mold. Legs kick forward, they don't move back that much. Uh, they go kick outwards that much, you know, not that much. Uh, fast swivel there, so that's cool. Double jointed knees, and these things are separate pieces, so they just sort of like just separate when you use that double joint, you know. They separate, so that's cool. Uh, they bend in about that far so that's cool and there's an ankle hinge here that moves down uh, it also moves up and it has an ankle rocker pivot with peg hooks at the bottom of the feet so uh, yeah I kind of wish that they would stopped doing this like they actually put it on the on the foot instead of putting it on the leg uh, it is kind of noticeable if you really want to you know if you really need those shots at the back you can kind of see it you know so it's kind of annoying that they do that uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to get that off though, so yes guys, uh, if you guys do happen to enjoy my review guys, uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe guys, uh, I'm, I'm really happy that I got this figure, I'm probably going to get Iceman and Kitty Pride, and uh, yeah, maybe that Phoenix, uh, probably not Havoc, I don't know, I might get a full set still and maybe sell, a, sell this Rogue or something. Uh, but yeah guys, uh, if you guys do enjoy this video, hit like, hit subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on this review, so you guys, I would like to hear you guys' thoughts on here. So yeah guys, uh, yeah, make sure to stay awesome guys, keep posting, keep collecting, do all that stuff guys, and uh, yeah, have a happy rest of your day kids. Oh, my freaking camera's gonna die now, because I hit the thing out, because I'm done. Dun. I hit my charger out, if you guys were wondering what that sound was. Ah, uh, gosh, you guys wouldn't notice this before, but it's such a bad review.